power propellant loading. And around the T minus 60 second mark, Falcon 9 is in startup. This means that the rocket's autonomous internal flight computers have taken over the launch countdown. The Starlink payload continues to be healthy. The Falcon 9 team is tracking no issues on the rocket. Weather is also looking great, and the range is green for launch. You can start to see that we're venting the super chill liquid oxygen. In a few moments, we should start to see uh, clouds formed around Falcon 9. And uh, if we do, that is normal and completely expected for us. That is where the super chill liquid oxygen meets the ambient warmer air of Florida and starts to condense. It looks like we finished locks loading. At this stage, the Falcon 9 internal flight computers have, have now taken over the launch countdown. Uh, the first and second stage are also beginning to pressurize for launch. LD, go for launch. And there's the launch director giving the final go for launch at T minus 30 seconds and counting. All systems are go for launch. Let's listen in to terminal seconds. count and watch as Falcon 9 takes our 60 Starlink satellites into orbit. T-minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition and lift off. Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Pad 39A at Kennedy Space Center, carrying our Starlink payload to its targeted drop-off orbit. Uh, moments ago, we've begun to throttle down our engines on the first stage in preparation for Max-Q. Uh, Max-Q is where the vehicle will experience the you highest amount yourself. of aerodynamic pressure. Max-Q. We've just passed max Q. Uh, in a couple of minutes, we'll have three events happening back to back. First is main engine cutoff, also known as MECO. This is where all nine Merlin engines on the first stage will shut down to slow the vehicle down in preparation for stage separation. Se stage separation is where the first and second stage will separate from one another, with the first stage making its way back towards Earth for landing, while the second stage continues its journey with the third event, which is second engine start one, also known as SES-1. Uh, this is where the single engine on the second stage, our Merlin vacuum engine, lights up and will continue to propel the second stage along with the Starlink satellites to orbit. We're about 25 seconds away from main engine cutoff. Got some really cool footage of Falcon 9 right now. It's 
stage separation confirmed. All right, we had successful main engine cutoff, uh, stage separation, and uh, our second stage engine is now up on power on the right-hand side of your screen. Again, on the left-hand side of your screen is our first stage. It's gonna make its way back to Earth to attempt landing for the sixth time on our drone ship in the Atlantic Ocean. Next event coming up is fairing deploy. It should happen just a few seconds from now. Bearing separation confirmed. And off goes those fairing halves, and now exposing the 60 Starlink satellites to space. As a reminder, we will be attempting to recover the fairing halves today uh, using our recovery ships Miss Tree and Miss Chief. Uh, we'll make the call about two minutes before they land, depending on the weather and the sea states. We're just over T plus four minutes to flight, and as the second stage heads towards its targeted drop-off orbit, the first stage will execute two burns in order to make its way back towards Earth. The first stage is what you see on the left-hand side of your screen. Uh, the first is the entry burn, where three of the Merlin engines will reignite. This helps to slow the stage down as it re-enters the upper parts of the Earth's atmosphere. The second burn is the landing burn. This is a single engine burn that brings the vehicle speed down rapidly in order to land on the drone ship. The first burn, the entry burn, should happen around the T plus six minute and 20 second mark, while the second burn uh, will happen around the T plus eight minute mark. You can also see that our hypersonic grid fins have deployed on the first stage. Those are the honeycomb-like structures that you see on screen. Vehicles on a nominal trajectory. They help to guide and steer the first stage back during descent. Now, the satellites on the second stage, um, we're sending 60 more up there to join the existing the existing 750, so after today's mission, we'll have 800 Starlink satellites up there. The satellites will stay powered down until after stage separation, uh, until after they separate from the second stage. You might be able to see some periodic bursts of gas from the first stage. That is nitrogen gas from our attitude control systems. Those help to orient the rocket as it continues to fall back towards Earth. And we're just about 20 seconds away from the first of two burns, first stage entry burn. Stage one, entry burn startup. Stage one, FTS is saved. Three Merlin engines have relit and are now slowing the first stage down before they hit the upper parts of the Earth's atmosphere. I have a few more seconds left on this burn. Stage one, entry burn shutdown. All right, the second burn will be happening about 90 seconds from now. Everything's looking great on our second stage. The view is of the Merlin vacuum engine and its thrust cone. Uh, that engine can produce over 220,000 pounds of thrust in a vacuum. We're about 30 seconds away from the beginning of our second and final burn. Um, during this burn, the four landing legs stage stowed at the base of the first stage will also deploy right before we land. Uh, 
This final burn should last about 22 seconds. Let's see if we can uh, land this first stage for the sixth time. Stage one landing burn. Terminal guidance. There's a few of our drone ship. And right down the middle, Falcon 9 has landed. Uh, this particular booster has landed for the sixth time. This marks our 62nd successful recovery of a Falcon 9 first stage. And the 32nd time we've landed on this particular drone ship, uh, of course, I still love you. Great way to start off a Sunday. So now for the second stage, we're waiting for second engine cutoff before entering a coast phase. Eco expect confirmed. Expected loss of signal, Cape. And we did see that we had second engine cutoff. Waiting for callouts at the orbit. Insertion. And we did get call out for a nominal insertion. Now the second stage is going to coast in this orbit for approximately the next 30 minutes. We're gonna take a short break, but leave you with an animation that shows you where we're at in the coast phase. We'll see you back here at the T plus 43 minute mark for the relight of our second stage. Bermuda. 